What's up everybody? I am Ghost Boy Colby and um, I realized that in the last episode we didn't quite make that much progress even though we took a little bit longer <laughs> so I want to try and make up for that right now um, I'm sort of pre-recording this episode just to have it backed up and ready to go whenever I'm ready to upload it uh, I still haven't even uploaded the last episode I recorded uh, it is completely edited like it needs to be But I haven't uploaded it as of right now the only ep or the last episode I uploaded of anything was the Final Fantasy part one video the prologue And I'm trying to if you destroy the health stations by the way uh, They will drop a first aid kit, but in the second game you can get a bonus when you're hacking to where they drop one even if you don't destroy them but if you do destroy them you'll get an extra one as well so some ways to get some free first aid kits if you're in desperate need I am but I don't really like to destroy those so ideally I want to try and find a, a vending machine Oh, medical expert. I didn't even see that. First aid kits will go farther. Healing sickness and injury at a rate you're sure to find astonishing. Don't use a first aid kit without your best friend, medical expert. Um... I think I like that a little bit more than Eve Link. Because Eve Link is a little handy, but... I don't think I want to keep it. Uh oh. Oops. Who's shooting and why? Why are y'all shooting? What are y'all shooting at? Huh? I, I. What are you doing? What are you freaking out about? There is no one. Are you shooting at each other? If so, why? Did I not hack you? I swear I did. Oh, never mind. Wait, I thought I did. At first I said I won't worry about it until a little later. I guess I didn't hack it. I don't know. Well, I'm glad mine won. I'll say that much, but I, I could have sworn I had both of them. Oh well. Um, back to wherever it is we're going. I'm not exactly sure where we are going. To Fontaine Fisheries. Okay. Oh, I guess that's where Atlas's family is. I'll send you boils. Welcome to the circus of value. That was quite a bit of money, but I think we need every single last one of these first aid kits that I'm getting. Um, oh, make this harder than it needs to be. Where are you? See, I hate when I can hear somebody, but I can't see them in this game. Is that the camera I've been hearing through there? Are you back here? Where are you? What in the hell? We I hear turned away from your light. Come on, you I... fight me properly. On the other side of that door, maybe? I don't look man, I'm at a loss. Come on, then. I'm trying oh, fighting. must be over here. Uh oh. Well I tried to jump just to spare myself a little bit of damage. Because if you shock the water and you're st standing in it, you'll take damage too. But sometimes it's necessary. Like that. I don't think I could have backed out of the water fast enough without, you know, getting shot. So either way, I was going to take some damage. But I figured it was quicker just to kill him that way. Uh, I don't know the... Yeah, I don't know the thing. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna hack it. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this isn't the worst hack. By far, we've already seen worse. So, I just need one last piece right there. There we go. And we're in. Yeah, you can do that. You can hack these things uh, if you can't find what the code is. Um, just be careful. Be mindful of the tonics that you have. Uh, which ones you have equipped to help you hack or if you have any at all Telekinesis that is pretty useful in this context uh, you can pick stuff up through grates if they're like behind a wall or something you won't be able to get to them but if they're through like a grate like this for example or fence whatever you want to call it you can pull them through it like you would hope you'd be able to do if you could move objects with your mind i've noticed my voice gets a little monotone sometimes that that's just how i talk i'm sorry oh oh i guess i can stand right here huh if it sounds like I'm bored or something, it's not necessarily because of that. It's just, that's just the tone of my voice. I try to talk with as much range as possible, but it's not always easy. Looks like I'm full on machine gun rounds. I guess I can switch to the machine gun for a little while. Although I will probably eat up that ammo in no time flat. Wait, wasn't there... I guess I... Hmm. Oh well. It's telling me to press that, uh, the right button on the D-pad if I get stuck. And it's not necessarily that I'm stuck, it's just I'm looking around every nook and cranny to make sure I'm getting everything I can. Like I said before, in I think it was episode 1, I'm really thorough with this stuff, but sometimes I do miss stuff, because there's a lot to this game. It's like when I missed that door that I had to open with Incinerate. I think we're about to face that spider splicer. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, she will actually be the first spider splicer we have fought. I'm pretty sure she's the one we saw when we first entered Rapture. The one that trapped us, tried to attack us uh, by getting in through the top. She was just using her friggin' hooks to try and dig her way through the top. So if you were wondering what all that, uh, like what was causing all those sparks and those screeching... Uh, scratching sounds. It was her hooks that uh, spider splicers are known for having. Did I already? Yeah, I guess I already looted that guy. Um. Atlas, right? Load on ahead. Says you were looking for an invite to the. Fisheries, nuts, I say. But if in your heads up to the Wharf Master's office and find old Peach a research camera, maybe I could manage an invite. So he won't let us. My friend, you are fucked. That's what you think. Oh, there she is. mid animation so that's mod body now right the lights are green oh, come back come back for you look on the he's running around like a crackhead something to keep you alive now go get that camera 
What is going on? Snapshot of those that crawls on the ceiling. Then I'll let you into the fisheries. Just remember, silly friend, I smell an ounce of Fontaine on you. Fox Atlas gives you the vouch, but I ain't turning my eye just on his say so. Hmm. Apparently, I'm full on shotgun ammo as well. Fontaine's dead, and everybody knows it. In the ground for months, and half the place still jumping at his shadow. Christ, even Ryan. You never mind all that. We got work to do. So, I know what the whole deal is with Fontaine, but you guys don't, so I'm gonna leave spoilers out. <laughs> Just. Some, some people would consider this a, a spoiler, but I don't. What I will say is there is a plot twist. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't think that counts as a spoiler. But if you do think so, then... And if you want me to stop saying stuff like that and just let you find out when you find out, tell me and I'll try to limit it but I don't I don't see it as a spoiler because I'm not giving you any specifics all I'm saying is there's a plot twist involving Frank Fontaine uh oh uh let's see nitro splicers we're gonna want telekinesis there we go. Most of the time their grenade box will be empty, so... Uh, I still check it just in case, but most of the time you're not gonna find anything in their grenade box. Let's see, let's switch back to Electro Bolt. I'm gonna need some more EVE Hypos. Actually, I'll get Telekinesis, because... What? I can't get it. I guess it's because it's an audio diary. Just in case there are more nitro splices around, I guess I'm gonna hold on to. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, first, let's set you on fire. Heal. Uh, I'm not gonna use the grenade launcher, that just seems like a waste. Let's just stick with the shotgun. See, using incinerate comes in handy because it'll keep doing damage to them without you having to actually fight. But then uh, they can get put out before the incinerate kills them. So in that case, you'll have to light them back on fire again if you want them to keep taking fire damage um, I don't believe there's any kind of equivalent to static discharge where like if you get hit in melee combat they burst into flames or something like how with static discharge if you take melee damage you shock them I don't believe there's any such tonic It'd be kind of neat if there was. If there is, let me know, but I'm pretty sure there is not. Just doing another hack of another health station so that they can't use it to their advantage. And I don't need first aid kits, so I'm not going to break it. See, the only thing that really takes first aid kits is battles with big daddies and it's just I don't know it's really hard to not die in one of those for me like you saw me even taking cover against the Rosie and I used every single last one of my first aid kits I can hypnotize this guy right here though and if he dies he dies so But, uh, just 
just like with your security bots and whatnot, he can shoot you in the crossfire of trying to kill your enemies. But until then, he's, you know, your little buddy. Was there a friggin... There's a rocket launcher bot, isn't there? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want him to kill it. Oh, God damn it. All right, here we go. I swear I'm about to die. I hope I don't. Uh, it's not necessarily that there's a penalty for your death. You just respawn at the nearest, uh, nearest Vita chamber, but it just wastes time, I guess. And then there are no horizontal ones left, so I'm gonna finish off with the resistor. Oh, please. No! I just hacked it! Oh, bad boy. Jesus. Bad, Rosie. Bad. The reason I thought I was gonna die is because I thought that explosion was gonna kill me or I thought either that or that the uh what I think the camera is further upstairs. So down here, we're not at risk of being seen. I do need to re-hypnotize him, though. See, one uh, tactic you could take to killing a big daddy is just hypnotizing him over and over again, and then having him just die in battle, protecting you. So you basically just get the little sister free of charge and you get a bodyguard along the way. Uh, you will have to expend Eve trying to re-hypnotize him, but that's not that bad. Okay. Dear Lord, please have some vertical ones. Oh my. Need to go this way. And then curve it back up. Let's curve it to the left. Curve it up again. Oh no. Never mind. Not to the left. Gonna abort that mission. Uh, let's go with this. And then... Aha! There we go. I think that tonic that slowed the flow speed of those is amazing. So far it's done us a lot of good. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Almost got caught. Uh, uh, how do I hack it? How do I hack it? I can't hack it. It's too high. Ah, fuck it. Uh, can I hack it? I don't think I can. I can't reach it. It's just gonna have to go bye-bye. I hate doing this. I really do, but... We don't have a weapon that we will get in the second game called the hack tool. And, like, unlike manually hacking it like we're doing now, 
With a hack tool, we get little hack darts. And if we shoot one of these machines, whether it's a security camera or even a vending machine, a turret, a security bot, no matter what it is, if we shoot it and, it, and that hack dart hits, we can start a hack from far away without having to be right up against it. Now, that tool, that weapon, does not exist in this game. So, if we can't hack it by getting right up next to it, it does us no good. So, it had to go bye-bye. Um, where's that one coming from? Right here. This one I can reach. This one is no problem. I don't know why I took that, but whatever. Uh, let's go here. That's already connected for us. That's good. Let's find another horizontal one. There's a resistor. We don't particularly need it, but... Oh well. Might as well use it. It's there. And then get some vertical ones to bring us down. And we're almost done. Oh no, there are no vertical ones left. Well, we're gonna have to start improvising. Uh, that was not the right one. Let's get this one. Curve it back to the left and down. And then do this. Aha! Uh -huh. Crisis averted. I don't know where that little sister went. I think what happens is they stay in the same spot waiting for the big daddy to get back to them. And if that is what happens, then we'll see her again and we will rescue her. Just like what you see topside. According to this magazine article I scrounged up, it can also analyze genetic information, past biological structures, possible $5 words. So we just lost him. Uh, I'm gonna re-hypnotize him just because I never know when I'm gonna need a little bodyguard. Which is basically all the time in this game. Oh, no, 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 no. If my big daddy doesn't uh, destroy them all first, trying to protect me. That plasma should last a little while. They probably last, I don't know, three minutes, something like that. That's my estimation. That's what it feels like, at least. That wasn't the right one. Oh well. Get some horizontal. There's gonna be a lot of hacking in this game. I'm telling you that right now. We're probably gonna see like two to three hacks of video. Boom. Hopefully I'll succeed a lot of them. Enemy triggered. Okay, so that means it's not us. Uh, enemy triggered means that the enemy triggered the alarm and uh, neutral bots will fly after him. Specifically. Uh, they won't focus on other enemies that didn't trigger the alarm, but um, I don't believe enemies are uh, the AI is programmed to Destroy the security cameras, so there's a high chance that another enemy will set off another security camera alarm I did definitely want to... Oh no. Ah, uh, it's gone. It's gone. Wait, I didn't trigger that, did I? Okay, so I might have triggered that. Um, if I did, I'm gonna explain that uh, if you hack a security camera after you already triggered an alarm with it, that alarm ends immediately. 
or at least it does in Bioshock 2. I hope it's the same way in this game. I know more about Bioshock 2 than I do this game, but I know a decent handful about both of them. So if I'm wrong about something, it's most likely because I'm confusing it with the second game. And not necessarily because I don't know about this game. Oh, but it looks like that that alarm was triggered by the enemy. And all I know is that alarm is extremely freaking loud. I can go through this little hole right here, though. Uh, let me see how much health... I guess I can't see. The only way you can see how much health it has is if it's no longer protecting you. I don't know if the... Hypnotized Big Daddy Plasmid wears off due to inactivity or if it just has a set time limit that it will always run out after. Uh, am I missing anything? There's some machine gun ammo. I'm trying to pick it up, but it's not really working. Um, it might possibly be a mixture of both. But it's probably Jesus just a set me, time limit, no matter what. Alright, we got the security oh, camera. This just lets us take pictures of various so different types of... No, <coughs> splicers. And uh, it helps us get research progress. Which gives us various different bonuses. The bonus we got right now is increased damage plus, so now we do more damage to spider splicers. They'll be less threatening whenever we fight them. Uh, they still do the same amount of damage to us, but we do more damage to them, so hopefully we can kill them quicker. They are quicker. Weak, Not quicker. He is strong. Apparently we have to take three photos. Oh, not of this one in particular. Oh well. <laughs> I took three anyways. Got two first aid kits. Uh, I'm gonna keep the camera up uh, because I know we're gonna be coming across more enemies. That guy was on fire, so that gives us nothing great. But we do get increased damage on the lead head splicers, which are just the base ones that use the guns. Trying to get some good ones, but it's not really working. Um, and then I think we get a little bit of a point penalty for photographing dead enemies. But it can still be useful to do it anyways, just because every little bit counts. Uh oh. Maybe you can't even do it to begin with. I don't know. Me too, dude. Me too. Oh, right up here is where we get the security command plasmid. Um, I guess I'll use it for a demonstration. I hope there's a gene bank nearby, though, because I don't want to keep that. Looks like there is. Okay, so I will use it for a demonstration. Um, I guess for now, I'll get rid of the hypnotized Big Daddy one. Basically, whoever we throw it at will have security cameras or whatever other types of security things are nearby target them. Um, but it won't do us any good if we throw it at, like, a security camera or something. It doesn't, like, mind control them or whatever. Well, I say mind control, but they're robots. It doesn't uh, turn them into ours. We still have to hack them. And it feels like I'm approaching my time limit. But I'll play a little bit longer. Um, not really much to say while I'm hacking here. 
except for the fact that I'm just really glad I got that plasmid that slows down the flow speed because it has done us a lot of good so far. A whole lot of good. Well, actually, I can bend it upwards if there... Yep, there's a vertical one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, time to improvise. Um, I'm gonna curve it back up. There's one right here to do that. And then I need a vertical one. Please, please, please. Okay. So now, I can... What can I do? What can I do? I can bend it to the left get a horizontal one to keep the flow going that way and bend it back up to the left so that we are connected and even in the ammo bandito ammo is still really expensive so it doesn't really matter if you use a uh, regular vending machine the circus of values or the ammo bandito they're basically gonna be around the same price just because ammo is just really expensive in this game but I don't really need ammo right now because apparently I'm full on everything don't get used to that there will definitely be points where we are hurting for ammo even on medium difficulty you can play this game on easy and still be hurting for ammo it just depends on what you're fighting See, I don't know why they put so many, uh, what in the world? I don't know why they put so many audio logs in such close proximity to each other. Because you don't even get to time to finish one before you pick up the next. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then they do that. Guess it's time to get to work for old Peachy. They... Take the man's pictures. Let's get the hell out of this place. They have you pick up an audio log, but then scripted audio plays anyways and just cuts it off. So I don't think they really thought about the placement of those as well as they could have. It's a nitpick, I know. It doesn't ruin the game at all, but it just feels like if they were going to put those in, they could have given that particular detail more thought. And... Ah, oh, this was so close to an impossible one. It almost was. It's still not going to be super easy. But at least it's not impossible. If it was impossible, I, I would have just given up. Because sometimes you do get impossible ha hacks. I've already stated that, but it's true. Let's see. Go left curve around this overload. Uh, gotta go back to the right. And then we're gonna need some horizontal ones. What? I said horizontal. I don't know what happened there. Um, let's get this one to curve us back down. We don't have a whole lot of horizontal ones to work with. We have exactly just enough. So it looks like we are good. Hack that health station, and I don't think I see anything else to get. Uh, I am gonna play that. If things were bad enough, that audio log. Yep, that's right. Irrigation system in Arcadia is taking on. See, you can even do it with security bots and security cameras, so you can do it with absolutely anything that counts as an enemy in the game. Big daddies, not little sisters, because you can't kill them unless you're harvesting them, but that doesn't really, that doesn't count as far as what I'm talking about. But security cameras, security bots, turrets, um, big daddies, 
any type of splicer, it's all f fair game. And now we get increased damage to the security cameras, but I don't plan on using that because I don't want to be attacking them. I just want to hack them, if possible. The only reason I, you know, like I said, the only reason I took down that other one was just because I couldn't reach it to hack it. Otherwise, I would have. It definitely would have been handy to have uh, two different security cameras covering the same area. A little overpowered? Hmm, maybe. But it would have been handy nonetheless. See, I'm a little more forgiving with games making you overpowered because a lot of times, like, it's okay if you feel like you deserve it, like if you've earned it in the game, you know? Like, being overpowered throughout the whole game from the start, yeah, that would be boring. Maybe. It depends on the game. Uh, if it's done well, then it doesn't really matter. I don't know. That's just me. Some people are against it in any and all situations. I'm not one of those, but... Are you... Uh, there we go. It's a picture of a lead head splicer. Oh, you get some bonus points if you have multiple subjects in the same picture. I guess that doesn't count. They have to be more in focus. Oh, 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 come here, come here. Yeah, okay. Our second security ha uh, security bot of the game. I was not gonna let that get away. See, like I mentioned before, if an enemy triggers an alarm, they will send neutral bots that don't shoot you, but also don't protect you. So that's why we have to hack it so that it will be on our side and will protect us. And uh, like I said, it's simple enough. You just shock them whenever they're in range and hack them once they're down. And it doesn't do any damage to them to shock them. But if you shoot them or something similar, you will damage them. So just try to avoid that. And now it is ours. Ah. And they always send two of them at a time. So uh, if those two get destroyed, they'll send another two. Well, actually, they'll just stack up anyways. It doesn't really matter if the ones that they sent got destroyed or not. But I imagine it's just a precaution against that. So, but now we have our own. And uh, we have this security camera right here keeping this area clear for us. Uh, let's switch back to the camera. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, so, I think our bonus and our pen penalty canceled each other out. Yes, it was an action, action shot, but we already took a picture of this same splicer. So, that's why those little details are there on the picture. Pretty simple. But, if you haven't noticed, I like to explain stuff. I'm just taking as many pictures as possible because the bonuses will come in handy. And looks like I'm out of film. That happens when you take a bunch of pictures of every single enemy you come across. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through that little crawl space there. I'm not sure what's on the other side. I do want to find that big daddy that we hypnotized before though. Uh, cause I want to keep hypnotizing it and get it to die in battle so that I can find the little sister that it has and rescue her. Um, I don't know if their health eventually resets or if it just stays what it is after 
they reunite with their little sister because they do start making their way back to their little sister and the little sister just stays in place waiting for them until then and the splices can't kill her so he will eventually get back to her but i don't know if his health resets to what it was like full health whenever he does make it back to her or if it just stays what it was after all the damage he'd already taken i want to say it stays the same um, but I'm actually gonna stop here uh, Because I feel like it's been too long. I'm not exactly sure how long it's been But I'm gonna save here just in case and you can put a name down in the comments for the little uh, security bot if you want This episode is pre-recorded so I can't guarantee that your name will be given to him before he dies but you can what you can do alternatively is pick a name to just encompass all of the uh, security bots that we get for all of the all throughout the game unless we get two at the same time in which case I don't know we'll figure it out but um, yeah uh, after this I'm gonna try and do an episode of Skyrim to have that ready whenever I'm ready to upload it um, until then, I don't really think I have anything else to say besides peace.